Hello and welcome to the second episode of Ask Store Growers, the show where we answer all your e-commerce questions. Today's question comes from Arish in India. He asks, how can I track the results from Facebook visitors in Google Analytics? That might sound like an obvious question, but when we dive into Google Analytics, we see that it's more complicated. Here on the right, you can see an acquisition report that I pulled from Google Analytics. Uh, basically, you can see uh, direct traffic and all kinds of Facebook referrals. Well, why do I include the direct visitors? Well, we've done research on how Google, how Google Analytics uh, reports uh, visitors from Facebook. And we've seen that they don't just get displayed as referral URLs, as you can see there, but also a big part as direct visitors. So that makes it even harder to know which of those direct visitors actually came from Facebook. And you can also see that there's a couple of different referrals. So which visitors come from where? Well, that's what we're gonna answer in this video. Our main problem is that we need to discover the effectiveness of our efforts, whether we're creating posts on our page or running advertising campaigns. So we need to somehow identify the organic from the paid visitors. Well, to do that, we take the URL that we would post on Facebook and we add a couple of parameters. They're called UTM parameters and they tell Google Analytics which campaign or which part of which campaign um, they should categorize this under. To do that, there's three main uh, parameters. There's the campaign source, campaign medium, and the campaign name. First, in this case, it's easy. The source, where does the campaign start? Well, it's on Facebook. Second, the medium, well, it can be PVC, let's say, if you're running an advertising campaign, or a simple post, uh, if you're posting something to Facebook. Thirdly, we need to include the campaign name. It can be retargeting or spring sale. Whatever values you choose for these parameters is up to you. But I would suggest to be consistent and pick one set of parameters that you continue to use uh, in a consistent way. So how does this look? Um, if I create a campaign URL for my retargeting campaign, it would look like this. www.healthydays.com question mark and then actually UTM underscore source equals Facebook ampersand and uh, as it follows. How do you create these URLs? Do you have to type them all from scratch? No, luckily there's an easy tool. If you follow the link uh, in the video description, I will, it points to the show notes where I will include a nice tool um, for you to create these URLs. If you're getting familiar with these type of uh, parameters, you can also include more of them. Mainly there's the term, UTM underscore term, and UTM underscore content. This is to track the performance of certain posts you do to Facebook, certain images that you use, um, advertising text that you're um, using. Um, this way you get an even more granular uh, view on your performance. Well, Luckily, this whole process isn't just limited to Facebook. You can use it to track all of your links. Let's say you're running uh, an email campaign, doing something on Twitter, running banner ads uh, on another site. You can use this um, campaign URLs to track the performance from all of your efforts. So that was it for today. Uh, if you would like to have your question answered on the show, feel free to send your question to dennis at storegrowers.com. For the show notes, follow the link in the video description or go to storegrowers.com. Thanks a lot and see you next time. To check out the first episode of the show, click the left button. To subscribe to the channel and be notified of new videos, click the right one.